Good morning, good morning, everybody. It's your girl, she nurses. I nurse, that's what I do. But I'm going to bring y'all that tea too. So I was just strolling the streets of YouTube this morning. And I just wanted to talk about this Kroger thing. Thousands of people have quit Kroger. Working like the cashiers, the um, stockers, people in the bakery, the, all of that. They quitting, okay? And this is one of my very favorite stores. So I'm gonna need Kroger to get it together. Now, they've shown that make billions, billions every year, and their higher ups are getting all the increases. They're getting all the increases and in pay raises and salary while the cashiers and the people that push the carts and all of the other ones that's laboring in the stores are on food stamps. They're missing meals. They're uh, still considered to be in poverty. They've gotten COVID from uh, the people that are going in and grocery shopping in the stores. And they're like, hey, you know, Kroger's not giving them the $2 hazardous pay anymore. And they're like, hey, we consider ourselves as essential workers. So what's up? Y'all need to make it right and we will come back and do our due diligence. But until then, we're on strike, okay? You know, Kroger, don't do that. You know, treat your people well. They are out here on the front lines as well. In my book, they are out there in the face of COVID as well because people are not wearing their mask all the time. They'll, yeah, they may say, oh, I'm vaccinated and and all of that they're not requiring uh they're not requiring proof that you've gotten the vaccination they're just trying to keep everybody fed so Kroger I'm gonna need y'all to get it together and I believe this is happening in Colorado it said this morning what do y'all think they should do to make this right all right y'all I will talk to y'all later shout out to the notification gang love y'all bye